Hello. So this is a follow-up video to continue my discussions about the Sea Star and the um, Alt Osmuth um, mode of operation, and how. And this video will start forming the basis on on how I was able to convert that into equatorial mode. <coughs> So, um, in the last video, I kind of mentioned there's actually two spots in the world where you can actually put the sea star the way it's supposed to and still able to capture the stars without um, field rotation. All right, so in this video, I want to kind of expand on that and to let you know that actually is not exactly the case. There's actually a technique or a trick that you can do to simulate that, that uh, physical behavior so that you can still follow the, the rotation of the Earth anywhere in the world and still not um, have any field rotation when you image a star anywhere they can see. Let me try to demonstrate. By the way, that is called equatorial mode. And to begin, I'll show you how we can go from alt osmuth and hack it so that it treats like an equatorial uh, mount. So let me demonstrate how um, a scenario where you're imaging at the equator. Remember, this is my normal orientation. I can rotate this way or I can rotate this way. Right? That's that's why I look like you can it this way. Right? So if I put it on the equator it could be here. Right? So I can rotate this way or I can rotate this way. And there's my star. So to do that I'll just do it here. So now you see the you see the these this the arm it's almost uh, 90 degrees with the base, right? So but here's a trick. If I if I was able to orient the base not flat on the ground as in level, but I actually put it perpendicular. All right? Or the base can actually rotate this way. All right, the base now can rotate this way and counteract the rotation. So now I'm essentially putting the base of my scope sideways, not perpendicular. I'm not on uh, flat on the ground, but sideways on this equator. Watch what happened. So here's the base. On the side base, let's see. Uh, okay, here it is. So sideways, right? So watch what happened. As the Earth rotate, this thing just this thing just rotate along to counteract the Earth rotation. You notice that I didn't move anything here. The only thing that moves is the base. And lo and behold, because of that the camera angle doesn't change. What does that mean? That means now there's no field rotation. That is a ha moment here. Is that if I orient the base on the side instead of on the bottom and orient the, the, the scope this way, I'm there. Do you see it? So that is the trick. So, if this is my telescope, instead of orient this way and rotating this, I mean, instead of rotating this way and orient this way, I'm actually going to put it sideways, right? And then have it rotate this way. And somehow my, my tripod here and my base here, and I rotate. So in the equator, 
that's how you can do it. So you can say, aha, okay, that's fine for, for equator, but how about anywhere in the world? Let's say I'm, I'm in California, so I'm right here. So before, it'd be fine if I put it flat on the ground here in, on the North Pole. But on sideways in the equator, you know, it's just continuous function. What that really means is that as I go up the altitude, I mean, the, this, this direction, it changed from this angle to this angle. So what that means is that there's actually, I can, I can actually just change the angle between the base, the tripod base. This is, let's say this is my tripod and here's my base. So instead of flat like this or, or in, uh, at the North Pole or, let's see, or like this in the equator, so between here and here, any in between is just a different angle. This is why we use a wedge to create this angle. 